Hello everyone, welcome back to my stream. This is Mr. Rahu and let's continue playing Forza Horizon 5. I think, I believe this is the episode number 6. Let me quickly check. No, this is episode number 7. Uh, there are so many episodes that I sometimes lose track of which episode I am right now. So, how have you guys been? What you guys have been up to? Do let me know in the comments. Welcome back, Zeus. I am thinking of getting a new Lamborghini because my experience with the Ferrari this is going to be a controversial statement my experience with the Ferrari was not as great as I was expecting. So I am going to go get a Lamborghini and see if that suits my taste at all. So we have a Huracan Technica. This is out of budget. Uh, this is out of budget as well. Huracan Evo. Uh, I want the four-wheel drive Lamborghini, whatever for Lamborghini I get. Huracan Performa Performante. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, looks good to me. Then we have the Aventador Super Veloce. You know what? I think it would be much wiser if we make some more money uh, and get the uh, Aventador Veloce. What do you guys think? Or should we just go with the uh, Huracan Performante? Hmm. All right, let's do the deed and let's just go with the performante and uh, we'll put some upgrades to the car. I do like the Gillette colors here, but Gillette seems to have gone Vogue, so I'm not going to bother with their uh, brand name. Um, I like this black and purple. It looks really neat. All right. <laughs> let's get that. And let's see if we can tune it up a little bit. Uh, because I would like to get the maximum amount of performance out of this little beast here okay this looks interesting i've not done this So guys, this uh, today we have started. Hola amigo, an old mecanico told me where we could look for a piece of Mexican racing and American sports car history. Think you could find it? So as I was saying, uh, so today's episode we have started with uh, buying a new Lamborghini. This seems to have some good ratings but let's see what else there is yeah i think this is the best rated setup 
x triple nine how much is that do i have enough cash nope i don't so let's just go and race a bunch get some money i have plotted your route to a nearby race event in 200 meters Get some money and upgrade the car and then we'll see oh wow that looks really epic turn around when it is safe to do so Yeah, I'm not interested in this event. I've done this event okay, so, so many times. I have set your route to a nearby race event. In 200 meters, turn right. God, this Lambo looks so good. In 200 meters, turn left. And the uh, license plate, Mr. Rahu, goes so good. Uh, with the beast we are about 1.6 kilometers away from the race Seems to be handling much better, but I will not comment on that yet because last time I commented on that, I ended up losing the race <laughs> mm, we have we seems to have collected quite a few cars till now and honestly I think I am going to get rid of a few cars because I don't think I'm gonna be using all of them I'll probably get rid of the Ferrari that I bought in the previous stream <laughs> that is probably the shortest race I've done on this game or done in this game I should say but yeah, as I was saying, uh, I should get rid of that Ferrari because I doubt I'm going to be using that. We got a Scout 800A International. International Scout. Okay, Zeus. I have plotted your route to a nearby race event. That looks nice. This is so much easier to handle compared to the Ferrari. country so of course we are going to use the Hoonigan for such matters 
because when against the best for such races when it comes to off-roading we have had some good experience driving the I think there's a mosquito somewhere these mosquitoes are really annoying all right this is a sprint and it's a cross country so this is going to this is probably going to be a long race and we have uh, let's restart i think we have cocked up the race quite a bit <laughs> seconds in just first few checkpoints the it just went bonkers oh man I hate jumps decision to break just before the jump that uh, brought us some good luck <laughs> we are doing uh, yeah this has the best grip of the road we are now at P2 and race is nearly over something this car's, car likes at all <clears throat> yeah Hoonigan doesn't like to be driven in the water it loses all its performance right guys that was easy uh, ignoring all the the few rewinds that we had to do during the race but otherwise other than that we did all right I reckon the course was interesting. Uh, is this right? They gave me the latest cross country. Let me change my car. I want the Lambo. I've just got the Lambo. I would like to drive the Lambo. Till now. Won 1.25 million credits. But it's just your name printed over and over down the page. Okay. Okay, Zeus. I have set your route to a nearby race event. Oh, this is much better. It feels so much more planted. Compared to 
the Ferrari that we drove in the previous episode. Turn left. I actually feel confident driving the Lamborghini. I think it's going to be another hooligan race. Yep. Because why not? I should. Yeah, I thought about it a couple of episodes ago. I need. I want to change the look of the hooligan. Let's do that after. Uh, this race, if we remember this time, because I said it earlier, said the same thing earlier a couple of episodes ago that I'm gonna change the look of the Hoonigan, then I forgot to change the look of the Hoonigan. Uh, so, yeah, let's not forget this time. Finally managed to get to P3, and uh, we are about to get catch up to P1 if we don't slither about aimlessly. Catching up to P2 and P1 is becoming a little challenging, but challenge is what we like before we rewind our race again and again. <laughs> number two and we have somehow managed to slither about out of the course guys I've done this track so many times out of this event because this gets really boring doing the same race again and again uh, I'm gonna yeah let's just uh, customize this car how do I customize this car do I go here My cars. I just uh, realized I've detuned 
the car and that's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally detuned the car and now I don't know how to bloody retune the damn thing. I think we have to go here, then we'll have to go here. Um, which tune did we have? I think we had the 892S1. Do I have to pay for, for it again? Or I don't care if I have to pay for it again. <clears throat> Whatever. Okay, car mastery, what's that? That's not what I'm trying to do. I, sometimes I really don't know how to do anything in this game. <laughs> Man, I want to race the Lambo and I'm not getting, I need to look up those races myself. Where am I? Okay. Um, let's see. We have done these races. What is that? Cross country circuit. It doesn't tell what kind of car that we are going to be driving, right? Sometimes this game becomes pretty annoying. Sprint. That looks... Vulcan. It's a volcano sprint. Circuit. Country circuit. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, if I don't raise this uh, car, I wouldn't know. What kind of performance this car gives me. So it is important for me. There is an XP board over there. I know I missed an, one XP board earlier, but let's not miss this one. Yeah, the turning in this vehicle, I missed another XP board, but anyways, the turning in this uh, car is so much easier compared to the Ferrari. I'm not shitting on the Ferrari, guys. Uh, I know people love Ferraris. There's a huge fan following of that car, not that brand, I should say. But I'm just speaking objectively. My experience in the Corvette and now in the Lamborghini seems to be better. I mean, the Corvette, it was a better experience, but uh, I want to test out my experience in the, uh, what do you call, the Lamborghini. Uh, so I know if you have 
this car is any good. Oh yes, yeah, that's the sort of race I was looking for. Uh, we are going to take the Lamborghini. It is one of the recommended cars. So we are on the right track. But that's a NASCAR, isn't it? NASCAR vehicle. A NASCAR racer, I should say. This is the stock Lamborghini. Nothing has been updated, I mean, improved upon in this car. The only thing that has been changed is the paint. Everything else is the same as the as factory. This is much easier to control. Being it's a four wheel drive, that makes a huge difference. Finally managed P3. The grip is so good in this car. I mean, you have no idea how less I have to break. Uh, the control, it's just so planted, it feels so planted. I, I, it's like it's driving on tracks. Oh, I love the sound of that AMG right behind me. Oh. This is... Imagine what this is going to be like once I upgrade and tune up this car, the Lamborghini. It's so much better, man. This is you know, like the uh, ideal version of uh, Corvette co four wheel drive. This is what, you know, the next stage of that Corvette that I used to drive would be. It's, it's lighter and it's quicker and it's more nimble. Brakes are good, engine is better. Everything is better. Everything is an improvement over there at Corvette, but the Ferrari was not, to be honest. I didn't, I did not enjoy that car at all. It looked really good. It performed really my well. Friend, ¿qué pasa? There are events on my race schedule that you haven't won yet. You feeling okay? <laughs> Just kidding. Keep it up. It's time to expand. What are we doing next? Yes, catch me if you can. Okay. Let's try that. What is that? You wait till you see this showcase. I have the train and conductor on standby. All I need now is a driver. I have 67,000 in credit and... Need about 
150 or 125 I can't exactly remember but I need over 100,000 credits to uh, uptune this car to the specification that I am looking forward to that I'm seeking so currently my Corvette has more power than this one but because this is a Lamborghini and it, its performance is better than the Corvette I mean I easily won the previous race why do you have to recalculate the route I'm on the right track <coughs> Anywho, so let's get to wherever they are asking me to get to. See, this if this was a Ferrari, I would have just lost all the balls in the court. Right, I'm still in the air. <laughs> I stayed in the air for like what five seconds or something. For a moment I thought I glitched out and I'm never gonna uh, land. four wheel drive got to my head I forgot this is a Lamborghini and not a Range Rover <laughs> or a Bronco or the Hoonigan I should say because that's the uh, that's my off-roader of choice lately in the game it drives so good involves a train what are we up to are we going to be driving a train this or is this some sort of that GTA San Andreas type of mission oh man they gave me an old car Ugh. generally speaking old cars are bad at handling so I'm not really, really now, looking. I know you've raced trains before in the UK, but watch out for this conductor. I've never seen someone so competitive. Best of luck. Yeah, I'm not really, really looking forward to this race, but let's go for the best and uh, expect the worst. Damn, that looks epic. The train going right next to us does this car even have any power oh my god what just happened so we have to race the train and we have to get to P1 and the fact that the train uh, I'm not sure if they're allowed to be dropping carriages but it's certainly going to give the engine an advantage oh yeah we'll see about that it just uh, dropped another bogey so the uh, train is just going straight up and I have to go through all these hilly roads. Uh, um, I'm not too sure if I will be able to catch up to the train. No, I don't, I don't even know where. As I was saying, now I don't even know where the 
train is. Right. That felt epic. Right now we are finally catching up to the train. But somehow making a mess of everything. Imagine doing that, this in real life. Oh, hello. Yeah, they let me win. I would not call this a win. They let me win. <clears throat> Amazing! Don't worry, I'll talk to the conductor. Might be able to use them on the festival roster, actually. Perhaps driving something a little lighter? Give me 20,000 something. 40,000. Uh, okay, Zeus. I have plotted your route to a nearby race event. Why is the train glitching so much? Everything else? Seemed to be fine, but the, the train has decided that it is going to glitch. Uh, did I tell you this is the first Forza game that I have ever played? Uh, because uh, I never actually played Forza before. Uh, the Forza Horizon 5 was the first Forza game that I played and I didn't play games for like 10 years and 10 or maybe more I think yeah 10 or 15 years I should say you have arrived at your destination yeah I didn't play games at all then suddenly I decided that I want to get into gaming again and my favorite genre of gaming has always been uh, the car race i've always enjoyed racing i mean of course who doesn't like grand theft auto that's pretty much also a car race game plus some missions here and there uh, <laughs> but yeah I mostly played Need for Speed in my life. Uh, the first car race that I that got me into this genre was a Test Drive. I think it was Test Drive 3 or something. It was on the PlayStation 1. And I just thought, oh my god, the, the graphics of that game were so amazing. And I just went crazy when I saw the graphics of the, that game. And I thought, yeah, this this is a, this is something that I'm gonna enjoy for a long time in my life. So then, from there onwards, I think I slowly got into the Need for Speed genre of racing uh, on the PC. Uh, the first Need for Speed that I took seriously was the Need for Speed Underground and then I played the Underground 2 that was a game that you know made a mark in my mind and I whenever I thought of Need for, Need for Speed I always thought of the Need for Speed Underground 2 and I or even if I thought about racing, uh, video games, I always thought about Need for Speed Underground too. 
it was so important for me so then i moved to australia and i uh, think six months into the uh, into me living in australia i bought my first playstation which was a playstation 2 slim i think it's what that's what it was called uh, the second version of the playstation the slim version yeah the smaller version but apparently more powerful so yeah the first game I, that i got with that console was the need for speed most wanted i enjoyed that game but uh, that game didn't even though it was a really good game that game didn't actually leave a mark in my head and for me it wasn't that memorable i mean i know it's really popular it's, it has been more popular than the underground series but for me underground 2 was the one and san andreas of course because those were the two games that i played a lot when i was in my 12th grade schooling yeah i remember playing uh san andreas straight for over 12 hours i did not eat i did not sleep i did not shit <laughs> i just played that game like crazy but yeah uh need for speed and grand theft auto these are the two games that have been uh quite important okay zeus i have set your route to in my in my life and uh, i think the last game that the last need for speed i played was the need for speed carbon and i struggled with that game i don't know why i struggled with that game but i struggled with it a lot i could never finish it i have never finished that game uh, anyway so after that life happened and i you have arrived at your destination never got back into gaming so then you know about 10 years later yeah 10 years later i got back into gaming now which is now and yeah i bought my second console which is the xbox series s i couldn't afford the series x or the playstation 5 uh, you have to remember guys uh, these consoles are really expensive where i live in the country i live everything is taxed way too high so I got the Series S and I figured I'll get the Game Pass and uh, it'll be a subscription based gaming. So I just pay a monthly subscription and play a bunch of games that I enjoy. And good thing Forza is included. I also got the EA Play Pass. Uh, so that included uh, under, oh, sorry, Unbound, Need for Speed Unbound, and few other Need for Speed versions. Need for Speed Heat, which I haven't completed yet. But I'm in the middle of playing that game. I am. I haven't posted any uh, content related to that game. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know. I'll make a career series out of that game as well. But anyway. So yeah. So Forza was uh, something that I enjoyed quite a bit, and I really looked forward to the Forza Motorsports. But uh, the bugs in that game are just too many. But uh, yeah, I forgot to mention I have reinstalled the game on my console. 
So I'm going to give it another try in a couple of days and see if things have improved with that game and I'm not, I don't keep losing progress and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll continue our career series of Forza Motorsports. I tried WRC even though it's it's been hyped up quite a bit and I, I even I was quite hyped up about that game. I once I installed it and I actually played it, I honestly did not enjoy it as much as I was hoping I would. So I have put that game on pause and only uh, EA Play only gives me five hours of gameplay anyway so I don't think I'll be able to finish that game or I mean make any decent progress in five hours of total gameplay so what's the point so maybe I'll just uh, stick to Forza and see at least I'm enjoying Forza that's what matters right if I'm not enjoying a game and I just keep playing uh, playing it for the sake of it then I don't think I'll be able to make any decent content out of it and because I do casual gaming I do it for my own pleasure so that I don't actually get stressed out of life and uh, okay, Zeus. I have and uh, playing a game playing video games like it's a task will actually ruin it for me because that's what happened with me uh, when I was doing photography uh, I went to Australia to study computer science but I found it extremely stressful so to cope with the stress I I picked up photography as a hobby uh, so one thing led to another and eventually I decided that I'm going to pursue a career in photography and not actually consider computer science uh, so and I did and from Doing photography, I entered into making some uh, independent movies as well, which were fine, but uh, I was not, I did not get introduced to good people. I did not meet any, any good people. All the people that I met were unreliable and overall not very good people. Their mindset was not something that I was. I wanted in my life so anyway one thing led to another and now we are here and uh, I'm not gonna get too, into too much detail about anything yeah the life has become quite stressful so I decided I'm gonna pick up playing video games so that uh, I can actually enjoy life a little bit because otherwise I probably just end up you know doing something that you know I don't want my family to suffer you know what I'm trying to say right so it's not their fault that I am you know going through whatever I'm going through So yeah, playing video games has been really therapeutic for me and it has kept my mind off some bad thoughts, as you can say, call them. So yeah, that's pretty much why, the reason why I'm actually playing video games now
We're close. Yeah, uh, these jumps, they'll... They can just mess up your... Uh, perspective, you know? You'll end up losing... Uh, the clock. And ending up somewhere where you don't want to end up. So anyway. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. I enjoy this. So oh man, only one thousand credits. That's not good enough. I was hoping for more. Because I want to upgrade the Lamborghini. Let's see how much credit we have now. If I have enough credit, I'll go and upgrade the Lambo. Horizon Arcade will begin. Uh, around 38. Let's see if we can. Let's change the car. I cracked my jaw that caused me to get an itchy ear. <laughs> yeah, that four star configuration seems to be the best. This one, the X99 configuration. How much is it? 124. I'm gonna end up with nothing in my pocket, but. I think it'll be fine. Why not say hello to the other drivers whilst you wait? Okay, Zeus. I have set your route to a nearby race event. In 100 meters, turn left. My God. This meters, car. Get ready. A race in our cage starting in five. This car has become crazy. You have no idea how crazy this car has become. The acceleration is bonkers. And that whistling noise, I think it's the turbo. I, yeah. Uh, what? What have they done? They want me to be above average. Driving assist anti lock is on. Steering is standard. Traction control on. Shifting braking only. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, try it out and see how it goes. My goodness. This car is... Oh my god! What is this car? Holy shit, I can't... I can't handle... <laughs> you have no idea, guys, what just... What just happened? I think I just spent the best 125,000 credits in this game. Oh my god! Oh my god! This feels unreal! We have managed to be on P3. Uh, 
uh, I think breaking for this corner would be a wise decision. But that has caused me to lose a position. But it's okay, I've lost another position. Oh my god. Yeah, I am not so sure about about the <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what am I done? <laughs> I think I'm not still enough for this car, guys. headache that would give anybody a headache yeah man this this car is crazy <laughs> have I made a mistake <laughs> still even a four wheel drive should be no i don't i'm skilled enough for this car as of right now I'm pretty much at the end of the whole pack. We have missed a checkpoint. This car has become too quick for me. My reaction time is not fast enough for this car. Yeah, this is a wise decision to quit the event. I'll probably do this with the Corvette. Yeah. I really doubt I'll be able to... Okay, Zeus. I have plotted your route to a nearby... Finish this race. In 400 meters, turn left. You have arrived early. Horizon Arcade will begin soon.
way too quick. The tires can't cope up with the amount of speed that this car now has. I think I've just ruined another car or something like that. with the covert the black and white covert that we can actually handle <laughs> i think i messed up my black bugini oh man if that's the case i really am disappointed with myself the decision of making it too powerful would be a bad decision all right But you learn with experience, I guess, so let's not delve too deep into that. Let's try to win this race. Somehow I managed to, I mean, somehow I enjoy driving this Corvette the most. So there's a sharp hairpin. It's the Alex uh, Alexis LFA right in front of me. One of my favorite cars. Today it's competing, so the idea is to defeat one of my favorite cars. I mean, I generally like most cars, yeah, I would say. I like the Corvette, I like the Lexus, I like the Merc, I like the Lambo. I do find Porsches to be pretty cool as well so I'm not one of those uh, you would say that I'm a fanboy of <laughs> a particular brand I enjoy cars I mean, cars are really cool concept there's uh, such good machines such a gift for the mankind. Okay, guys, end of the race, we have achieved P1 in the covert. I think I'll stick to the covert for now. I'm not gonna muck around with the Ferrari and the Lamborghini for now because. I don't think I'm built for those cars yet. I need more experience in driving. Okay. Hey Zeus, sorry to interrupt your Hall of Fame chase, but we need to pick an adventure. The Juggernaut. One Let's go. coming right up. I'll tell Jay to make it a good one. Yes, you did it! Horizon Rush is complete. We're 16 kilometers away from the... What? We're getting somebody's garden or something. Feels like I'm driving in Europe. Actually, I'm going to stick down two gates and you're going to set the ultimate route. 
It will be wicked. At the roundabout, take the second exit. In 200 meters, turn left. Lost the plot just <laughs> before. It's going to be a pretty decently long drive. It's gonna take a few minutes. Now this is so much easier to drive. I mean the power I can handle this much power. But I'm unable to handle the power that, that Lamborghini has. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the Corvette and I'll leave the Lambo and the uh, Ferrari for uh, later races where it's not, you know, there are not so many turns, not too, too many corners in the race this is enjoyable to drive to be honest I I mean other than that it's actually pretty enjoyable to drive amount of power so yeah let's stick to the COVID for the future races for now and if any of those two cars come in the recommended uh, cars list during the start of the event, we will, I will consider that uh, those cars will keep them aside for now. I'll probably detune the Lambo. Damn, you must be so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's this mosquito being really annoying. Dr. Haley, and she's totally cool with us hitting drift zones all day. Apparently, this is marketing. Who knew? 
back there was this guy with his family uh, he was coming back from one of his you know temple drives whatever uh, no, I don't understand that but so he was coming back from somewhere going back home with his family and he was in one of those MPVs seven-seater people carrier things so he was driving right next to a river Uh, this is in India, right? This is, this is from India, and apparently there was a mosquito uh, in the car, and he got annoyed, and he he tried to kill it uh, while driving the car, and uh, while doing that, he managed to lose control of his car. By the way, yeah, that car was only a few days old. Yeah. That was a brand new car. Uh, so he lost control of his car while killing the mosquito, while trying to kill the mosquito, and he ended up in the river. to wait for this event no, they're asking me to go somewhere isn't it that's the race I think all right let's do that just being crazy right now we're doing this in a corvette four-wheel drive corvette that too and we have to get there in 200 and odd seconds and the destination is 8.2 kilometers away i think this is the only way we can actually uh, achieve success considering the situation uh, having an off-roader would have been a better choice but <laughs> we are not gonna bother changing the vehicle and we are just gonna carry on with uh, what we have right now because uh, sometimes such challenges are great for your system <laughs> it's like those solid trees are spawning right in front of me we are halfway there I think we'll be able to make it we better make it Oh man, this tree messed up my jump. Good thing I have the damage set to cosmetic because this run would kill a car pretty quickly, this type of run. Man, this game is so pretty. And then I hit a wall. I don't think we, we are going to be making it guys. It seems like we have less than 100 seconds left. And we are 3 point... 3... 3... over 3 kilometers away. 
from our destination. Let's just rewind. That might be able to save us a little time. No. Well, it was better. We have one minute left, just over one minute. And we have to cover 1.8 or so seconds. Man, why, uh, why do these trees keep spawning right where I want to go? Can you please not keep on spawning right in front of me? This is getting exciting guys. Oh. Stop it! being a bitch the damn mosquitoes are annoying the heck out of me we have 30 seconds left and wow you didn't just blaze that trail you like incinerated it that was amazing you made it that was awesome take a second to appreciate all right now saddle up again because i reckon you can do it faster come on shut up i don't want to do it again Let's go check that out and see what they are talking about. Okay, so that's the job of the Hoonigan, obviously. Nothing else will do. through the temples or something, yeah. We are racing through the temples, aren't we? We have three laps. We are racing around the temples. I'm not sure about through the temples, but yeah. Oh yeah, we are jumping over some stuff. to get to P2 now the only question is to get to P1 as quickly as possible uh, we are struggling a little bit the car is slithering about a bit too much because we aren't braking enough so if we do brake on time we should be able to get a decent angle on the turn okay so that was through the temple and now we are entering lap number two that 
attract balls let's break that was not a good decision to break so hard it made my car go sideways and and I lost a couple of positions doing that so maybe uh, sliding is the right answer because that can that way I can actually maintain some speed uh, while not losing my position let's just so we can catch p1 because that dude is doing really well oh we are in p1 now what happens that jump is has some voodoo involved in it because last time i uh, gained a few positions in that same jump and nothing happened again this time i suddenly managed to get to p1 Oh yeah, my itchy nose is gonna destroy my career in this game. <laughs> I thought somebody was behind me. last time and uh, again uh, gain me one position last time and a lot more in the one before that the lap before that I should say I will uh, enter that temple where I am not interested in going temples are not my forte it becomes really difficult to control so close <laughs> so close to P2 oh man looking pretty good right i don't know i think we have a few more adventures in us and you want to put a bow on your hall of fame run right 
Okay, Zeus. I have set your route to a nearby race event. Turn left. In 400 meters, turn right. Recalculating route. In 200 meters, I think turn you left. Want to this area. for sale over here. Should I look into it? How much is the house? If I'm able to afford it, I might as well get it. Buena esperanza. Mm. Disappear into the jungle with only the temples for yeah. Who doesn't want to do that sometimes? We'll talk about this later. I will get that house though. Because that looks the location of that house is really you have nice. Your destination. I know I've started to think I've started to think that if I we can't even change the look of the car, this Hoonigan. I was really looking forward to changing the look of the car. And you know, edit the lights and all, but I don't know, I'm not so sure about it. Now, I'll have to do some research online about it, if we can actually update the car or not. Races are so crazy. You want? <laughs> my wife managed to throw myself to you. Want? Sorry, Mike. I have just. Uh, restructured your lawn, I should say. Mate, my car is too powerful for you, I hope. Oh, yes. Back to P1. The way I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. was so close. All right. What do you think okay, Zeus. should we I do? I have plotted your route to a nearby race event. Should we continue racing or should we take a break? Have you heard of the Carrera Panamericana? I've just been told about 
another barn find nearby. Shall we go find it? In 400 meters, turn right. Accepting that barn find, I don't think that's a good idea because I tried it last time and I couldn't find shirt. Turn left. So, you have may, arrived at your destination. Maybe I'll uh, try it sometime later. This is the S. It is recommending the Pista. So, what do we do? Where are we on the map? Let's first have a look. Okay, that's the race that where we are. All right, so if I do lose track of, uh, if I do start to lose that game and I have to restart with a different car, I'll, nah man, I'm not gonna muck around. I'll just go with the COVID and win the damn race because uh, COVID is a much easier car to handle. Let's not pretend that I'm an expert in this game. This just be more realistic and yeah. In fact, I'm thinking of you know reducing the difficulty uh, down to average because I am not really such a good driver. You can call it an excuse or whatever, but yeah, I think average is what suits me the most. In real life, I'm below average in everything. Uh, but at least in this game, I can call myself an average driver. Right. Right, guys, so we are at P5. We only have one lap. And they have not mentioned how long the lap is. So it is difficult to estimate how far we have to go so let me quickly itch my bloody nose there's a McLaren right up my ass Yeah, this is so much easier to control. I think this is the same race that we uh, tried to do in the Lamborghini and we failed miserably. Or was it the Ferrari? I think it was the Ferrari that we did. I'm not so sure. I can't remember. We had one of those two races. And look at my performance in this car. I'm actually able to handle this car and able to, uh, you know, lead the race and take decent corners. Uh, and hairpin is. Uh, coming mm -hmm. that was very close of me losing the plot man this itchy nose is annoying the shit out of me. Honestly, I'm actually falling in love with this uh, car. This actually performed really well. I just noticed uh, there aren't any shortcuts like there are in the 
uh, Need for Speed games, you know, like for example that tunnel in Need for Speed, that would be a shortcut. And that's the thought that came to my mind when I saw that. And I was like, can I go through that tunnel? The opponents are really good, man. They're right up my ass. And I think one of them is just about to overtake me. But I have managed to keep my position for now. And we still don't know how far further the race is. Because there is no information on the length or the progress of the race. It just says lap one of one and we just have to hope to maintain our position and keep going as long as it takes. the wrong turn for a moment. Oops, I stayed. I overcorrected, I should say. Oh yeah, I'm making some de decent progress here. We still don't know how long the race is. We are just going and going and going. I think it's going to be an extremely long race. We have no idea how far we have to go. Oh man, this is such a mystery. We are already five and a half minutes into the race. And then this time must be to keep annoying the hell out of me. this car is to break and uh, to control in through the corner upgrading both the Ferrari and the Lamborghini he, I mean Lamborghini was good as well uh, in its stock configuration but uh, yeah upgrading the Lamborghini was I think it was not a good decision I'll probably take out take off all the tuning that I have applied to that car and bring it back to its stock form because it actually ran really well in its stock form. We are still uh, going guys, no clue how long the race is left. Uh, let's just hope we are more than halfway through the race. Ferrari is right up my ass. I can't see any other players in the map. Sorry, 
guys. I uh, keep getting distracted by the mosquitoes. I don't know where they're coming from. I have all the windows and everything closed, but somehow they managed to uh, get into the house. Weird. Mosquitoes should go extinct, to be honest. They are the most annoying creatures on the planet. They are like... <laughs> I don't want to say what I want to say. They are like a particular kind of people, you know, in the world, who just wants to create nuisance in the society. And I'm not talking about uh, Muslims. Yeah, I think they're they are okay, but I'm talking about somebody else, some other type of people that I know. They're the most annoying people on the planet. No offense to anybody else. I mean, uh, you can call it a racial remark or whatever. I don't care. Uh, I'm not PC. I don't care to be PC. Ferrari keeps catching up to me. Now there's a Porsche catching up to me. Man, how long is this race gonna last for? It's already over nine and nine minutes, nearly ten minutes. I think we are about to finish the race. Oh, this car drives so much better than anything else. Uh, in terms of uh, sports cars, all this other sports car that I have driven till now in this game, this drives so well. This is so balanced. Oh my God, I, while I was saying that I, got distracted man that Ferrari is right up my ass I do really don't want it to overtake me now because I feel like the race is about to finish because I think this is the sort of uh, region where we started the race I can't remember, remember exactly, but yeah, it appears to be the case. Oh yeah, we have a... Oh, I have not been on this bridge before. <laughs> I honestly, I have not been on this bridge before. You have seen all the game that I played. Whatever I played is online. My goodness, this game keeps exceeding my expectations. exceeding my expectations again and again. No wonder this game had been so popular since its, since its inception. 
and now there are talks of Forza Horizon 6 coming next year and I think I mentioned it in one of the previous episodes uh, I am really looking forward to that as well it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I just hope I can finish this game before the release of the version 6 because uh, considering how big this game is I it's just never ending my man how long is this race just keeps going catching up to me I think it's a Ferrari isn't it whatever it is it keeps catching up to me I still don't know how long this race is going to last uh, oh, oh that was A shock 14 minutes oh no it wasn't a ferrari it was an ats gt18 i don't know what that is mm. man that gave some burns to my ass cheek yes you did it oh wow i am glad you did because Long i don't think i can sit through that again my heart wouldn't take it yeah and neither it wasn't a, it was a really annoying race All right, let's see what we get in the Horizon wheel. Oh, nearly 200,000. Oh, well, we got an Evo. I'll probably sell it. <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys, I think um, it is wise to stop here. You know what time it is. But I don't think they're not going to let me. Because uh, they're going to ask me to do a challenge or something. So, so let's see what they're, they're saying. For the new Vanguard Force movie, and the uh, was asking around for you. I still don't think the two of you look anything alike, but Frankie really seems to need your help. 400 meters. Turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Shortly. Enjoy. 
that's a truck. Okay, they are taking me 16 and a half kilometers away now. It was over 16 kilometers. Ooh, that's going to be a long drive, I reckon. So, driving slowly wouldn't be a wise decision in this game, not in real life. So this is about the top, pretty much the top speed of this car, 306, 307. Let's see how far we can push it. Three. Yeah, I think that's the top speed this car can achieve. I'm driving at the top speed of this car, yeah. This is the best it can do. Yeah, 311, I see 311. It didn't feel like 300 kilometers. Uh, yeah, people have been saying uh, doesn't feel fast in Forza. We still got a way to go. It's so much easier to drive than uh, my upgraded Lamborghini and uh, Ferrari here. Yeah. Ferrari. <sighs> the steering wheel of this car feels weighty. It feels good. It feels like it's a hydraulic steering wheel and not an electronic one. We are now passing through the Baja festival and we are only about just over one kilometer away from our destination. We are in the desert now. Okay, nearly there. stupidity is that V10 okay um, Aston Martin oh, that's so good so good <laughs> wow it's like looking in a mirror but that's a uh, right 
I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical. That's not an Aston Martin. That's a Mustang. Did I? Let's go. <laughs> Did I make a mistake? That's an American muscle. There's a new movie, Vanguard Force Ten. Yeah, I've seen the teasers, and I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standard you set on the last one. After the own stunts. Truck just over there. Was it uh, asking me to overtake him? We've oh, already no. started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and. and. Hang on. You do the driving, and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Interesting. So the, they want me to be a stunt driver. I've got a stunt coming up. Get the costume on and pretend to be me. In 200 meters, turn right. Yeah, I was wondering why the other guy looks so similar to my character. It's because that's what they planned. They wanted me to be the stunt driver, so they made the other character look like me. The actor. Why does this drift thing keeps coming, showing up, and it just keeps, you know, confusing me, like last time. I thought the destination was still further ahead, but it was actually this drift, drift thing that took me further ahead. This is a two-year-old game and the graphics are so good. I still can't get over the fact that how good the graphics are in this game. 
And this is on the Series S. It's not even the X or high end PC. This is just the base Xbox. Uh, Xbox for the common man. <laughs> X, the poor man's uh, Xbox. suddenly clean <laughs> well I was hoping to end the episode but don't, don't sweat play. the dialogue mate we'll get there later you just focus on your driving they're gonna like, will do <clears throat> mate come see me after we cut I'll get you some lozenges or something yeah I think they're gonna make me make the episode Scene 15. Downhill escape stunt sequence. Two hours long. Over two hours long. Because we are already over two hours now. That was Mike Steele. He does the stud direction while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. Obstacles ahead. You haven't done this before. Just keep your foot down and take the hit, okay? <laughs> Not the first time. Now, keep a tight line through here. Pretty cool. I don't know about Victor, but that looks mint to me. story here is the actor is uh, too scared to drive the car on this track so he has asked me to do this race on his behalf mm. because uh, there is a resemblance uh, between him and me, we look alike. Sounds good. And that's it! Cut! Did he buy it? He did. We can make this work. Three stars and three minutes, okay. I was 11 seconds slower. That's fine. I'm not going to. 
do that place again. Are ready for the next stunt. I snuck away to my trailer to call you. Victor thinks I'm <laughs> preparing. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> I mean, of course, over here I do have to break quite a bit, but on the tarmac, especially, I have to break so little because uh, the grip is really good. That's an astromatum, yeah, I wasn't wrong. Unimog. That's one of my favorite puff roaders. Can't see anything. This is Alex's last chance. Without this vehicle, we will not be able to trigger the dimension portal. There will be explosions and many digital things. But the truth is in the vehicle, in the way drive. Such a quick vehicle in the water. Water is not even, you know, making any difference. I feel like I should uh, yes. activate the driving line, especially here. I can't really tell where I have to go sometimes. So, yeah, sometimes I do think I should. one way of doing it. Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves No, that's the Aston I was talking about. Ready for the next setup. <laughs> Seems 
25. One flew over Cobalt's nest. Action! Now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape. Not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I've whacked a rally V8 in that thing. So give it the goods. Hurricanes and ramps ahead. Keep your speed up. Hard turn onto some winding roads up ahead. Yep, I can see We can see the windy roads and some hard turns. earlier I have reinstalled the Forza Motorsports because I really want to give it another chance I I was really enjoying that game <laughs> driving in that game uh, it's just those bugs have you know uh, destroyed my interest in that game anyway so let me know if you guys want me to restart the was the motorsports series because I'm thinking of doing so I don't think they have released any uh, further updates but the size of the game was about six gigabytes larger than what it was when I originally downloaded on the Xbox I think five or six gigabytes uh, I think originally it was about 92 or 93 gigabytes and now when I installed it this time uh, it was uh, 98 over 98 gigabytes so, so I don't know if they have for some improvisation we could do a seed along the beach or around the airplane graveyard I'm not sure which so you choose along the beach yeah. uh, I can think of some stunts. Maybe they have fixed a few things in the race. Let's hope they have fixed a lot of the bugs in the game. Not the race, the game. Because I'm really, you know, interested in driving in that game. 30 stars across all speed traps. Are we undertuning these all? No way. I forgot, it's you. The scores are probably fine. I forget how to drive. Such houses, oh, would be you have arrived at your destination. heaven like. I'm sure about that. Okay, let's continue. Because we are two hours and uh, over 15 minutes into the stream. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one. Right. Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that and keep away from the houses. Otherwise there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. <laughs> I 
exactly are we doing? Are we just improvising? Doing some stunts? Beat the skill target. Okay. is on to us. What? No way, my sore throat story is flawless. one star That's fine. It's okay. Right. I'll take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar, sorry, movie star can do. <laughs> Water. It's been over two hours since I had right. any. You've got another drink. Start. Drop by when you have a moment. Destination. Let's do one thing. Let's get the Bronco. I haven't driven the Bronco in a while. <laughs> and just let's just take the shortest route to the destination. It's at the top of the volcano, it seems. Oh, 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 oh. All righty, I see your path and going straight up the volcano looks like the butt crack of the said volcano so let's grab that route and see where it takes us
Yeah, can you see that butt crack right over there? Oh my god. This car has become, I mean, this truck, it's not even a car, it's this truck has become so powerful it can't handle its own speed. Alrighty. I remember coming down this route, but I don't remember going up. I must have gone up this route, definitely. Now it's on the other side of the volcano, it's not all on the volcano, I believe. Do we really need to turn sharp left? Boom. <laughs> it scares me sometimes, these extremely long jumps sometimes I actually you know get butterflies in my stomach Man, this Bronco has so much power it doesn't even care There's one way of arriving at the set. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> right. How many do we have? We have 12, isn't it? We have done six. We are halfway through. Uh, no, we are not. We are on the sixth. We are After this, we'll be halfway through. Well, well, well. If it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. Uh, uh, Mike. Glad you're here. How do you like this, uh, this dummy the art department made? It's, um, it's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. But if you're going to keep Victor in the dark, he'll need my help. It's nice to be working with you again, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Okay. I generally do not like jumps. Scene 43. Time travel volcano jump. Action! Uh, Mike? Did you just say volcano jump? Come on now, kid. I saw the opening ceremony. Hammer it up the hill, kid. That stunt vehicle is a Mike Steel Special, custom engine and suspension. that I went no, through the no. earth Frankie, I broke the graphics but we keep this between us yeah no need for Victor to know the car is cocked up okay thank you hey there kid 
We've got a new stunt set up. Drop by when you can. Hey, Zeus. We've got adventures to plan. You're not in the Hall of Fame yet, kid. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Couldn't agree more. I'll tell Alec the title is a go. All right, let's see what we have here. I just got word that you've approved construction on the Titan. Oh, this will be fun. See you there. Where are we headed? Turn around when it is this way. Oh yeah, I see the destination. Let's go up the volcano again, because that's more exciting. And that's the reason why we got the Bronco, so that we don't have to follow any rules. Just not when that happens. <laughs> okay. We managed to get the car stuck this time. All right, let's just take the civilized route. Country the Titan. Um, I think this is gonna be another one of those long ass races, which I'm going to do in the Onegin, of course, because nothing else is as good as the Onegin. Okay, I'll, I promise you, this is going to be the last race that I'm gonna do. All right. Because we are already two and a half hours into the stream and... The Titan! Yeah. And it's eight o'clock in the morning. Right now. I think this is going to be a long one. similar to this one or maybe the same uh, track it seems to be the same this the same track layout anyhow uh, Let's try to win this race and not make a fool of, out of ourselves. Or should I say, not try not to make a fool of myself because uh, 
when we make mistakes we are capitalists uh, but when we win then we are suddenly communists <laughs> it's our victory it's your loss it's your fault but it's our victory track oh yeah this is yeah the, uh, we the first part of it was something that we did earlier but not this part oh interesting so now they want me to be a bowling ball apparently to destroy everything <laughs> on my own and that was a really wide turn but anyway nobody caught up to me that's what matters in the end That uh, was a huge mistake because somehow the opponent uh, managed to catch up to me. Nope. I'll have to break before the jump. I think that would be a wise decision. Because jumping too high and losing control is worse than uh, jumping less at a lower speed and keeping the car in control. Yeah. I we missed a checkpoint. Oh yeah, we did. to f go further back and then break yep that's more like it 41 percent into the race it's a long race oh, i love those clicking sound that this car makes when it's changing gear really quickly yeah that was but when it's doing it really quickly I really enjoy those sounds see there are so many things to enjoy in a petrol powered car so many different sounds that it makes can you do that with your electric car no every sound that it makes is artificial and synthesized even though i am not against electric cars i actually do prefer electric cars uh, but It needs more time, the infrastructure needs more time, I should say. Let's not talk about electric cars right now, because we are having a ton of fun and I don't want to get into that depressing conversation. <laughs> yeah, 
are 56% into the race and we are we keep spinning oh my god that was crazy I did a 360 Jesus Christ what just happened percent into the race we missed the checkpoint where was the checkpoint oh there was the checkpoint hey I saw an animal I tried to kill a donkey in this game, but that didn't work. Oh, that was my own shadow. I, I started to wonder what the hell was that coming towards me so fast. It was actually my own shadow. checkpoint and these uh, the farmers whose crops these are would be really pissed that these races keep destroying their crops wouldn't they wouldn't they be pissed I would be Yeah, picking, choosing the Hoonigan for this this race was a good decision because I don't think uh, any other car would be able to, to do this race as good as this car can. The brakes are good, the acceleration is good, the grip is good. Uh, Off-road and on-road it's fine as well. speed is good as well even though I keep going off the track I still manage to not lose P1 just because uh, the acceleration of this uh, car is really good I think I'll need to rewind it even further. track is basically designed to destroy Mexico, Mexico's infrastructure. I missed the checkpoint over there. Not bad. 
Lord. All right, guys, we are finishing now. The end of the race, because it means you pretty much lost control of your car, but we didn't somehow manage to win the race. Oh, it's two hours, about 42 minutes. Yeah, 42 minutes into the race, into the stream now. It's probably the longest stream that I have done till now. Yes! How can you not love cross country <laughs> racing when you have such nice looking country to cross? Mm. Mm. Only 5,000 credits. Alright, guys. Uh, hey, Zeus. You're on the home stretch and about to make Hall of Fame history. Proud of you. Alright. Thank you. Alright, guys. So I'm going to uh, stop here and uh, we will continue our gameplay from here onwards in the next stream okay so in the meantime have a good one and uh, we'll see each other in the next stream take care bye bye have a good one